Good morning. I'm John Hudson, pastor of the Pilgrim United Church of Christ in Sherburn, Massachusetts, and writer of Spiritually Speaking, a weekly newspaper column for Gannett Media. And I welcome you to another of my weekly video essays with thoughts about how all of us can lean into and get through these strange and amazing days. So I have some good news today, really good news. I was going through my books from grad school, you know, from seminary, the place where I learned how to be a minister, and I found my notebook. It's actually titled, How to Pastor and Lead in the Middle of a Once Every Hundred Year Pandemic and Get Absolutely Everything Right. Here's my book. Thank goodness. Because within the pages of this book, I wrote down everything that my pandemic professor taught me, you know, how to do church, whether or not to reopen for in-person worship and other stuff too, how to do schools and colleges and how to do business and how to have an election, all as a pandemic is going on and all of the wisdom contained within these pages, which as you can see, are blank. Nothing in this book. But boy, I know as a pastor and public leader, as someone who so wants to make sure that people's souls are well cared for in these hard days, I wish I had a magic book like this one with all the answers about how to live now what to do, how to balance being safe and being together somehow. More than any other leadership challenge I've ever faced, COVID has humbled me. It's made me realize that all of us friends, most of us, we are trying to do the right thing, to make wise decisions, to be careful, but also care-filled. And much of the time, we are making choices the best that we can with nothing, no past experience to guide us. We are trying our best and sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. I'm thinking of the colleges who have already had to shut down or some churches who had to close again because someone got sick or all the poor parents who just wanna see their kids in school and all the belabored teachers who just wanna teach but who also wanna be safe. So since none of us, no one knows quite exactly what to do, I'd offer some spiritual advice to guide all of us as we muddle through these COVID days. It's simple, be kind, be kind. As American author Henry James once said, three things in human life are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind, and the third is to be kind, kind. So give folks a break when they don't quite get it right, and give yourself a break too. Be kind. Tell your kids' teachers just how much you appreciate all of the hard work that they are doing. If you are a kid, thank your parents. They too are just doing the best that they can. Be kind to the grocery clerk and the first responder, to the nurse and to the doctor and to the nursing home aide. Be kind to your neighbor who needs you and the stranger trying their best to socially distance. And yes, be kind to those who lead, to your pastor and your politician and your school principal and your local health department. Together with kindness, we will get through this. Of that, I am sure. And that I hope. And so I give this hope and trust it to God, believing that God is somehow working through all of this for the good. So friends, let's be kind, be kind. Thanks for joining me. Our church offers worship every Sunday morning on this Facebook page at 8.50 a.m. and we invite you to join us. Take care. And I pray that you and your loved ones, that all of us, that we can keep the faith, be well, stay safe, and God bless all of us, and God bless our world.